think I Kevin think Love so and LeBron are going to win the championship. I, I would hope love, so. You guys, I would we can love use to it. see LeBron win. They're going to win the championship. It's, I mean, it's a great home. It's a great him coming home. He's such so. a good guy. Too. He's a great and guy. He's put so much money into the youth programs. I think San Antonio is. I think that was their swan song. I think it's LeBron's time. Oh, they're old. Kansas City, go for it. So, hey, how's it going? Good, how are you? Oh, I'm fantastic after last night. I love this movie. No, I mean, it's it did what it was supposed to do. Plus, the book's written by my homegirl because she's from Kansas City. That's right. Yeah, That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Casey Love all around. <laughs> but, no, as a piece of work and, you know, adapting the book into the film, what's the process like for you guys to jump into something that's so intense and puts a you know, puts relationships and marriage under such an intense microscope. I think for me, you just, uh, you can't worry too much about where, where it's coming from. You're just doing your work every day. You're just showing up and doing it every day. And uh, Gillian's book is so psychologically sound that as an actor trying to figure out where these characters are com coming from, it's, it's really very, I think, accessible and plain to us when we're doing our work. Yeah, and we, we were lucky. It's something that I've never done before as an actor, which is that we were invited to be part of the rehearsal, mm. sort of rehearsal rewrite process. So we're there reading through the script, and David and Gillian are listening, and they're going, ah, oh, that works, that doesn't. And you have a chance to sort of say, oh, I kind of like that line, you know. So you, we were included in that, and it was it was... Mm. I felt very fortunate, both because it's a great way to prepare and also because you feel a little bit of, of authorship over it. Mm -hmm. And you've kind of rehearsed it almost not like a play, but much more like a play than your usual movie in terms of you've read through it a bunch and yeah. you kind of have a front to back. This is my first movie, so I'm sad to hear that people don't always work like that. No, I had it. She's spoiled really now. useful. I'm totally spoiled. spoiled. Yeah, you really are I'm spoiled. done. I'm retiring. <laughs> but she's great on, <laughs> uh, on her show. She's incredible. So That's I don't sweet. play the uh, total naive game because she's killing it on that show. Nice, nice, nice. Thank you. Now, what was the process like for you? Because, I mean, you've been in front, behind, in front, and behind the camera again. So how does that work for you? You know, for me now, it's just about working with directors that I really like and trust. And David is, is I think, a master and a guy that I knew that I could learn from. So as an actor, I also want to kind of use that convenient position to be able to stand next to the monitor and ask questions and see how he does what he does. I've been very curious about it, and it was 110 days of, of film <laughs> school in some ways, you know, where I could really go, like, well, why are you doing that? What's the story with this? And David was very willing to share. You know, he's very willing to talk about that stuff. It was great. Whenever we couldn't find Ben, he was usually standing behind the camera geeking out with Finch, and we're like, we're trying to do a scene, man. Can you yeah. come over here? There yeah. you go. He said, yeah. It's, it's, <laughs> it's paid to go to film school. <laughs> like, right. exactly. you, can't can't ask for, you cannot ask for a better nope. deal than that. So if you had to cite your favorite David Fincher film, which one would it be? Zodiac. Why? I just think it's masterful, and I love that. I love that interlude in the middle where he shows the passage of time. I think it's I incredible. I like that too. It's amazing. It's I think Seven choice. is my favorite, just because I, <laughs> I feel like that is. If it weren't a genre movie, like a serial killer movie, I think people would recognize that as like one of the greatest, one of the best made movies of all time. It mm -hmm. is beginning to end in terms of this, this, the screenwriting, the story, the themes, the photography, the acting, the direction. It's just seamless. Every scene folds into the other. It shocks you. It surprises you. It says something about life at the end. It's it's a magnificent movie. And so is your performance in Gone Girl. Thank you. And you killed it as well. Thank you. Job well done. Thanks. Thanks. You're watching Black Tree on TV, only on Soul of the South.